Shocked mom breaks down in tears after boss changes her paycheck. Life is not always easy for low-level workers, especially if they have to take care of their family and so struggle to make ends meet. Tana Marina was one such worker. As a married mom of four kids, you can imagine her struggles not only financially but also emotionally, as she worked hard to ensure that her children had a good life, though it wasn't easy as a low-level appliance technician at a company called Mr. Appliance. So, Tana knew that she had to do her best to keep her job and be polite to her boss to ensure no problems. But Tana had no clue that she wouldn't be able to recognize her boss as the person who'd be working beside her. When Tana's fridge stopped working, she called the company Mr. Appliance to help fix it and after the technician did his job, he was impressed by the family's knowledge and asked if they'd be interested in joining the company. Tana's husband Michael was a firefighter who liked his job and so refused the offer, but Tana, who saw an opportunity to help with her family's situation, said yes. After a few years of working with the company, Tana was then asked to appear on a television show called Don't Quit Your Day Job, where Tana would be partnered up with a person considering a career change and, after spending time with her, would finally make the decision whether or not to stick with their old career. Seems simple enough, right? Well, Tana thought so too, but she had no idea that things would not go as she expected. That was because the show was actually fake and a front for the popular series Undercover Boss on CBS. The show was about the top-level executives, CEOs, and owners of companies working with their everyday employees to see things from their employees' point of view. And the person Tana would be partnered up with was none other, was none other than her own boss, Dina Dwyer Owens. For the event, there was a lot of behind-the-scenes work that Tana was completely unaware of. Even though employees would often never meet their company's CEO, they'd still be aware of what they look like, so it was the highest priority to ensure that Tana didn't recognize her CEO when she walked into the room. So, with a little backstage magic with the help of a wig and colored eye contacts, Dina Dwyer Overs was transformed into Faith Brown. The disguise was flawless and the two women quickly started working with each other, building an understanding of each other's character and background with Faith, even meeting Tana's kids and her husband. And Faith was certainly surprised to hear about the struggles that Tana was going through and her future plans to take on a second job despite her hectic schedule. Later when she was interviewed, Dina expressed her concern over the decision. She and her husband are already working hard, Dina said. Now she's going to try and take on a second job. And this resonated with Dina's own experiences of when she was younger. My father was amazing, but he wasn't home, she said. It was rare that he was home and we were still awake. Recalling her father's efforts and her own yearning as a child to be able to meet with her beloved parent often, Dina made a decision that would change Tana's life. At this point, Tana was still under the impression that Faith was just a regular girl looking to possibly change careers, not Dina, her CEO. So when Dina appeared at the end of the show, Tana got the shock of her life. Dina revealed to her the purpose behind the show and everything that had been hidden before giving her a 25,000 cash dollar reward for being you, while also setting up a $10,000 scholarship fund for Tana's four kids. She truly went beyond the call of duty, and both women shared a touching and emotional moment. You are the epitome of what Don Dwyer would have looked for, Dina told Tana, referencing her father who started the company, and it was the reason she joined the show. You're an incredible technician, an incredible mother, and an incredible wife. After the show, Tana found that the surprises hadn't ended quite yet. Dina realized Tana was a very good worker, with a mind full of unique ideas and a chest of untapped skills. So, Tana was promoted to being a franchise consultant, while also running the Woman in the Trades program. One year later, in an interview with the Houston Chronicle, Tana expressed nothing but gratitude for what Dina had done for her, while also saying that the event had changed her in every possible way. The family now has a new house and the kids enjoy a better lifestyle with their parents. I work from home now, Tana said. I have flexible hours and the opportunity to spend time with my kids. And that is all a mother really wants, to have the ability to spend time with her children. From repairing appliances, Tana now recruits women to work with the Dwyer Group and gives them new confidence and empowerment by getting them involved in the trades. But the story doesn't quite end there. Tana has an exceptionally strong faith in God and an exceptionally selfless heart. She realized how special the help she received from Dina was and how she wouldn't be able to stand in her current position without her incredible CEO who gave her such opportunities. Thus, Tana wanted to give something back, a way to pass off the chain of blessings that had rained down on her when she needed it most. 
In 2013, Tana founded the organization Living Waters Internationals, a group of volunteers who deliver water to the people most in need in South and Central America. But Tana didn't stop there. When she went on her journey, Tana taught the locals about different hygiene practices, which she felt would really improve their lives. Her experiences with a volunteer group gave her great clarity about her own situation, but it also cemented the selfless notion in her heart to help others as she had been helped. Tana expressed these feelings to the public and even on her LinkedIn page where she wrote, Beyond the opportunity to help provide clean water, our true passion for being there was to share God's love. Tana continues to work hard both for her business and for the people volunteering wherever she can, passing on the goodwill she received which had changed her life forever. It just goes to show that at the end of the day, perseverance, hard work, humility, and being a good person actually pays off in the end.